The Round Ball Wrap on Newswatch 12. Presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. Thank you for joining us for week three of Round Ball Wrap. I'm Madison Marie. And I'm Peyton Manny. We have a very exciting show tonight and we are ready to get right into it. Starting off with our Game of the Week matchup. Maddie was there. Maddie, tell us how it was. It was great. It was a great game and it was a defensive heavy game. So not too many points scored, mm -hmm. but defense was insane for both teams tonight. Let's dive into those highlights. Coming in hot in the first, Axe Thurman pulls the jumper over two caveman defenders. Grants pass ball now. Gene and Jesse hits the layup and draws the foul. Go-to guy Landon Bryant for the Axe comes back with a three of his own, channeling Steph Curry on that one. Back to Grants pass, Luke Morgan with a double team uses the post move to score through traffic. Bryant again with the steal, but Jesse won't give this one up and stops the fast break before South Eugene gets out of it. Another steal from Bryant. This time he lobs it to Harrison for the wide open layup. Caveman starting to pull away with the lead and the man of the night, Mason Bennett, slams this one down. Our first dunk on game of the week this season. All gas, no breaks for Grants Pass. Now moving through traffic, McLean scores. Call that McEasy. Grants Pass picks up a victory at home. Final 69 to 51. Cavemen. Looks like a great game. Pretty close score. Our so first dunk, fun. too. That, I was so yes. happy about that one. And we'll see that again <laughs> coming up later in the show, but you'll have to wait. It was like, really fun. <laughs> And I was over at North Medford High School tonight as the 2 and one Black Tornado welcomed in the 1 and one Sheldon Irish. The Sheldon Irish coming from Eugene to take on the North Medford Black Tornado tonight. The Black Tornado looking to bounce back after their loss to Roseburg, so let's get into it. We start in the third quarter. Sheldon leads 27 to 19. Andrew Plankenhorn drives to the hoop, hits Corbin Young in the paint for the easy layup. Next play up, Plankenhorn takes it from coast to coast and gets the easy layup for the Black Tornado. But here comes the Irish and Rocco Graziano, unstoppable on offense tonight. He drains the three. But you know who else was unstoppable tonight? Antonio Orozco. He gets the steal and on the breakaway makes the easy layup. North Medford fighting for the win. Orozco nails the three, but it was just not enough to come out with the win tonight. A close game, but Sheldon has the final say, winning 59-50. And the night is still young and we are just getting started. Stick with us because we have more games to highlight. You're watching Round Ball Wrap. I believe we've been coming to Abby's for 56 years, isn't it? Yes, yeah. 56 years. Remembering all the events as a family and a community that we spent at Abby's. E excellent and delicious food at an affordable price. We're delighted that we live close enough to be able to be a frequent customer. And we are. And we are. <laughs> In fact, we've got orders to bring home a, a giant pizza when we leave okay. here tonight. <laughs> Round Ball Wrap, presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. The Rogue Valley's premier wedding show is this weekend at the Medford Armory. Discover the region's best bridal products and services. For details, go to soweddingshow.com. Plan your perfect wedding this weekend at the Medford Armory. Doors open at 10. See you there. Hupel's Plumbing, an Oregon family-owned business since 1979. Let our licensed professionals exceed your expectations. Speak with Hupel's technicians day or night. I'm on my way. From plumbing installation and repairs, specialized in drain cleaning, septic system, and excavation, Huckels does it all. Utilizing the latest technology, our experienced technician will locate and repair hidden costly leaks. Depend on Huckels Plumbing when you need the job done right. One call does it all. At Lifford's Carpet One, we're here to floor you by always offering exceptional service and competitive pricing. And for a limited time, you can save like never before during our flooring blowout. Right now, waterproof vinyl planks starting at an amazing 78 cents a square foot. Carpet starting at an unbelievable 98 cents a square foot, plus pay no interest for 12 full months. Bring home a floor your wallet and your whole family will love. Here to floor you, Lifford's Carpet One, Medford and Grants Pass. At Lazy Boy, we're making room for new merchandise. Right now, save up to 50% on closeouts, overstocks, floor samples, and one of a kind. All beautifully crafted, all on sale. It's the inventory overstock sell off. Save up to 50% on $5 million in factory direct overstock. 
Get our best offers on a huge selection. Don't wait. Savings this great won't last long. Lazy Boy, live life comfortably. Welcome to The Kitchen Company, an extensive selection of world-class cutlery, innovative appliances, and professional cookware. From the beginner to the gourmet chef, you're in good company at The Kitchen Company. Downtown Grants Pass. Welcome back to Round Ball Wrap on Newswatch 12. Well, let's keep it moving over to Eagle Point, where both the girls and boys face the Thurston Colts tonight. The boys have struggled to get on their feet this season, while the girls have only lost three games heading into tonight's matchup. Thurston looking to stay undefeated in league play, but they'd have their hands full tonight. And here's one reason why. Opening quarter, Jill Garlitz playing some with playing with some tenacity on defense, she gets the steal and the easy bucket. Moments later, Morgan Doyle, nice crossover, picks up the quick jump shot, money. The doyle Gartlett show, well in the live at Eagle Point with both players scoring double figures. But you can't score points without good defense, Gartlett's on the other end. Are you kidding me? That's a block of Rooney, and that's what basketball is all about. Colts though, staying till the very end. Stella Hall gets the ball inside, buckets, it's good. Colts tie it up, but then this is why you never underestimate the power of the Rocky Balboa theme song. Moments later, Cadence Lindstrom to Dole, cash in and bank. Eagles hold on to the win. Close one. Final score, 45-39. to 39. And over on the men's side, Thurston and Eagle Point again, both looking for their first win in league play. First quarter, Eagles on the hunt. Alex Meadows using the hesitation to get the separation. Nice bucket, Eagles lead early. Moments later, Eagle Point in transition. Peyton Pierce to Hugo. Let's it soar, fly, Eagles fly. Eagle Point leads five to two. But it was all Colts after that. Noah Blair takes advantage of the bad pass for the easy layup. Thurston would get a lot of those in this game. Second half now, Eagles just couldn't seem to make anything happen tonight. Colts moving now into transition. Hunter James looking for an open target, finds Nate Stifler in the paint. Stifler gives his man a little shake and bake. It's too easy. Thurston rolls in this one, 56 to 42. There's that shake and bake again. <laughs> Every season. <laughs> and over in Ashland, the Grizzlies welcome the North Eugene Highlanders tonight. The girls' game was canceled earlier today, but then they ended up playing, mm -hmm. and they unfortunately lost. But the boys also hit the court. Both teams were sitting at a 8-7 and seven overall record before tonight's matchup. The Ashland Grizzlies hosted the North Eugene Highlanders, looking for their fourth league win tonight. Highlanders, Ben Kitzhaber with the quick handoff to Nolan Duke. Duke, money, drills the three. And you thought he was done. Nope, here he is again. And it's nothing but net for Duke. Next play up, Izzy Golden diving and making the play. He gets the steal to Crosby Leonards, and Leonards drives to the hoop. He misses the layup, but he's got Silas Wright right there to put it in with the one-handed finish. Highlanders off the inbound. Jonas Spencer looks to take the shot, but we'll call this an alley-oop instead. Duke is there to put it in, and what a finish. Ashton looking to make something happen here. Wright driving to the hoop, but he hits Sebastian Sowasser in the corner, and he lets it go for the three. Final out at Ashland High School, 63-56. to 56. Traveling over to K Falls now, the Henley Hornets met the Vikings at Mazama tonight. The Hornets look better on paper heading into this matchup, but the Vikings have been on a win streak since early January. Could they continue that win streak? Well, the Cowboy Hats and the Boots were out at Mazama tonight as they face the Henley Hornets. Trevor Anderson, a goat on the field, a goat on the court. He'll keep this one for himself, driving through the paint and in with the easy layup. Mazama putting some points on the board. Vikings with the ball again. Keegan McDonald with the easy turnaround floater. It's in for Mazama. Time for the Hornets to get to work. Luke Bennett driving through traffic. Easy pull-up jumper with a few bounces. Around the rim, it's in. Moya for the Vikings now, applying the pressure, gets the score. Vikings trying to bat, bite back, but it's not enough. The Hornets stung the Vikings tonight. Final, 45-40, to 40, Henley. And let's jump into this game. End of the fourth quarter, KU's Tony Matheny steals the ball, gets it to Perdoma for the layup to tie the game with 34 seconds left on the other end. Ponce misses the chances at the line to take the lead. The clock runs out and we head into overtime and we're tied at 53. At the end of overtime, the game is tied at 57. Matheny misses the shot, but the other Tony, Tony Ortiz, gets the rebound and draws the foul. 
Ortiz misses the first free throw, and no pressure here, Ortiz. Take it slow. With the game on the line, he makes the second free throw to put KU up by one with just three seconds left. Phoenix misses the quick sh half court shot, and it's over. KU comes out with the big overtime win. The final score in overtime 58 to 57, Klamath Union. Love to see those. Klamath Falls team's getting it done. Coming up, we'll find out who our Week 2 Play of the Week winner is, and we'll see who the nominees are for Week 3 Play of the Week. You're watching Round Ball Wrap. Round Ball Wrap Play of the Week. Presented by Abby's Legendary Pizza. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And our kids still talk about that. I go back now, too, and I think about all those great days and great times. The neat thing is that we can go back in today and still enjoy the same quality food that we enjoyed 50 years ago. That's legendary. Ford Escape. It offers bliss with cross-traffic alert. And it's an IIHS top safety pick. It's built for America. Get zero for 36 and $1,000 low APR cash on a 2022 Escape only at your local Ford dealer. Dear 2029, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspection, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 4.99% APR for up to 60 months on a Toyota certified used Camry, Corolla, or RAV4. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Look! It's easy to say things. Anyone can do that. Look closer. Meaning what you say? That's a little harder. And a little harder to find. But at US Cellular, when we say you get unlimited data for $29.99 per line, we don't mean only if you get four lines. We mean $29.99 per line, even one. Plus, every plan is price protected for every customer. Ideas made to marinate. Dough-covered hands and handles made for them. Adjusting until it's just right. Kitchen suites designed to bring more to the table. These are the marks of a maker. Discover the collection from KitchenAid. Active Appliance and Mattress on 7th Street in Grants Pass. Shop online or in store. Ford Escape. It offers bliss with cross-traffic alert. And it's an IIHS top safety pick. It's built for America. Get zero for 36 and $1,000 low APR cash on a 2022 Escape only at your local Ford dealer. Welcome back to Round Ball Wrap on Newswatch 12. Welcome back and thanks for sticking with us. Maddie, let's check in with some girls basketball tonight. The North Medford Black Tornado headed to Sheldon High School to take on the Irish. And the Grands Pass Lady Cavers headed to South Eugene to take on the Axe. So let's check them out. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Sheldon Irish hosting the North Medford Black Tornado. Third quarter, Irish up 10. Allie Stevens with the hustle and the save to Olivia Boger. Boger connects on the layup. North Medford down by eight now. Diamond Wright with the series. Drive, stop, shoot, and score. She's hyped up after that one. Here's Stevens again. She gets the steal on the inbound play and she takes it coast to coast for the Black Tornado layup. And rule number one, do not get in Bo Brugman's way. She creates some separation from her defender and it's nothing but net for the senior. The Sheldon Irish defend their home court tonight and send North Medford back with their third loss in league. Final score, 50 to 34, Sheldon. And over Grants Pass and the Lady Cavers at the 3-1 South Eugene girls. First quarter, Brooke Anderson, one dribble shoot score, nothing but net. Lady Cavers on the board first. Rowan Davis now first shot, no good, grabs the rebound. Second shot is in. Axe are down by a dozen. Lady Cavers ball again. Brooklyn Wakefield with a lob to Sophie Mock. She scores off the glass, and it's all Grants Pass. From here, two victories for the school tonight. The final, 58-12, Lady Cavers. Tough matchups for Black Tornado tonight, but like you said, 
Grants Pass got it done all, all across the board tonight. <laughs> two victories is great. And now it's time to see who our Week 2 Play of the Week winner is. This was a very close vote between two plays, and one play received one more vote than the other. I think we were both battling between those <laughs> plays as well, so let's see who the winner is. Our Week 2 Play of the Week winner goes to South Medford's Bodie Howell. The 6'4 sophomore comes in clutch with 1.5 seconds left on the clock and hits the game winner for the Panthers. You know what they say. There's no party like a Southside party. Ooh, ooh, no party. Such a great play and even a better player. The Panthers had the night off tonight, mm -hmm. but they'll be back on the court on Tuesday. And now let's see who our plays of the week are for week three. So many great plays from tonight's matchups. So here are the three that we chose. Starting off very strong with nominee number one, Ivan Isley hits Mason Bennett and he is making the cut to the hoop. Bennett for the open slam first dunk of the season for our Game of the Week broadcast. I went crazy for this one. Mason Bennett getting it done tonight. And nominee number two goes to North Medford's Antonio Orozco in the third quarter. He gets the steal on the breakaway. He makes a layup and he just makes it look too easy. He's coming out of tonight's game with 17 points on the night. And last but not least, we just can't forget about this play. Thurston in transition, Jill Garlitz. Looks like she might be beat, but here she comes flying in like an eagle for the block. Love the effort, love the block. What a night for the Eagles. And be sure to head over to our website to vote for your favorite play of the week. The winner will be announced next Friday on Round Ball Wrap. And before we say goodbye, we have to find out where our week four game of the week is. Let's see, Peyton. Maddie, this is a game that speaks for itself. One of the most highly anticipated rivalry matchups in Southern Oregon. I'll be broadcasting from North Medford High School as the Black Tornado go head to head with the South Medford Panthers. I am so excited for the Black and Blue Bowl. Me too. On the court, it's going to be a great Tuesday night matchup. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> well, that wraps up our round ball wrap for tonight. If you want to take a look at some of those out of town matchups, you can also check out our website. Thank you for joining us. And you can find more about Big Games of the Week by heading to our website, like Maddie just said, <laughs> at KDRV.com. Have a great night and stay safe.